As we experience the struggle for faith in our own lives and see the spiritual casualties in the motorcycling world, we are constantly reminded of the spiritual battle that goes on around us. As members of CMA, great desire rises up inside us, a passion to get involved in the struggle, a longing to be empowered by God to see the victory won in our lives and in others. When we feel this passion rising in our hearts and realize it's the Lord's plan for us to be involved some way in the spiritual battle between good and evil, it's the perfect time to employ some strategy. Sinclair Ferguson said, as in all warfare, the two essential elements in victory are knowing your enemy and knowing your resources. Jesus himself, our ultimate example, struggled against Satan in the wilderness. Each time the enemy would approach Jesus, he knew who he was facing and he knew exactly how to defeat him. He wasn't taken in by Satan's slick words or his confusing appeals to his human senses and emotions. He knew his enemy, he knew his methods and his traps. In knowing Satan was his enemy, that his tactics were to tempt him and twist the word of God, Jesus was in the right frame of mind to do battle. It's important for members of CMA and local CMA chapters to understand who it is we struggle against. Jesus declares Satan to be the enemy and those who mimic the enemy's desires are his children. In Ephesians 6.12, Paul writes, For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. As followers of Christ, our battle is not against that person who is opposing us, who just hurt us, who is blocking our way. It is instead against what Paul calls the rulers, the authorities, the powers of this dark world, and the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. The truth about our enemy is, if you are a follower of God, you have an enemy who is invisible. Not only is this enemy invisible, this enemy is evil. Our enemy is the enemy of God and he is actively working to destroy God, his kingdom, and his people. Here's a quick rundown of what the Bible has to say about Satan, the enemy of our souls. First, Satan is not equal to God. Contrary to the beliefs of many, Satan is not the opposite of God, an anti-God. The Bible describes Satan as a created being, having been created by God as a powerful angelic helper. Satan is an angel who rebelled against God. Throughout the scripture, he is described by a number of names, the accuser, the devil, the tempter, the evil one, the great dragon, and the serpent of old. Number two, Satan is active. 1 Peter 5.8 gives this warning. Stay alert. Watch out for your great enemy, the devil. He prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. This imagery of a hungry lion is meant to communicate our enemy's constant prowl, always active, always working to destroy the people of God. He is actively working against God and the effects of these works are visible. He can sift people and harass men to do evil, even to the extent of betraying the Son of God. He can oppress individuals, even to the point that they need healing. He schemes against us, hinders us, and he works to trap us. Number three, Satan is a liar. Jesus describes him like this in John 8:44. He was a murderer from the beginning. He has always hated the truth because there's no truth in him. When he lies, it is consistent with his character for he is a liar and the father of lies. He knows and uses scripture to spring his traps. We read in Revelation 12, 8 and 9 that Satan has the capability to deceive the entire world. Number four, Satan is a defeated foe. Although we still struggle against the powers of the enemy in this life, in a sense, they've already been defeated. In John 12, 31 and John 16, 11, Jesus said that his enemy would be driven out and condemned. Colossians 2, 14 and 15 adds, He canceled the record of the charges against us and took it away by nailing it to the cross. In this way, he disarmed the spiritual rulers and authorities. He shamed them publicly by his victory over them on the cross. Through his death on the cross and his resurrection from the dead, at what looked like his own defeat, Jesus broke the power of sin and defeated Satan once and for all. 
Members of CMA need to keep this clearly in focus. We're not simply cruising along down the highway of life experiencing whatever randomly happens. There is a real enemy committed to harass and harm us, dedicated to thwart our prayer, fellowship, evangelism, and discipleship efforts. He and his forces and strategies are working every day to tear us down and block our ministry efforts. Satan is real and his work is effective, but truly knowing our enemy isn't a cause to give up and pull back. We know the enemy of our souls fights hard, but we also know in the end he and all his works will be destroyed. Now we fight on. We fight back in the daily struggles with sin and against the evil that fills the world around us. We fight on with the knowledge that we are on the winning side. But thank God he gives us victory over sin and death through our Lord Jesus Christ. We battle knowing we have already won a victory over those people because the spirit who lives in you is greater than the spirit who lives in the world.